this is a walk around my 3D printer I made. Um, my standard Raspberry Pi running OctoPrint. Um, I have a sort of free column, free row display that I haven't set it up yet, but I will do. Showing states information allow me to do some standard um, setup of the printer. Um, so everything, all the uh, chassis of this printer is the Persa 3 i3 type printer. It's all printed, the, the, all the chassis, so the only metal parts are really the linear bearings and uh, the threaded uh, bars for the z-axis and obviously the, print, uh, the electrics and the motors for everything else, 3D printed. Standard M4 nut and bolts for all the connections, bolt it all together. Uh, run. So, just look at the base, you can see how that's constructed. Now, the thing is, everything here was printed on my K8200 printer. Good, reliable printer. Once you've got it set up, you don't have to mess around with it. But it's very hard to get any kind of level build area on it. And the hot plate isn't that powerful. And so, if you put glass cover on it, it takes forever to warm up. And so, the problem I have with this printer is it's hard to get anything wider than 120 millimeters of print even though the build area is 200 mil so every part on this printer isn't too long just so that i can print it on here now this printer because obviously i'm using uh, um, stuff set up for the ramps controllers and the power, more powerful power display i've got a, obviously a much better hot plate yeah it's your standard our, uh, eBay hot plate so this warms up really nice and quick even with the glass plate on it so this print new printer I've built is a it's quite capable of printing at the full 200 millimeters width and depth without any issue and the blue printers tapes really sticks well and I only print in PLA I don't like the smell and issues with all the other types so, and I, I have good, very, very good results with PLA, so I don't have much problem with that. Now the bearings I'm using, standard linear bearings, these are quite nice ones I've found that are already coming in a nice case and they just bolt straight on. Uh, um, let's see if I can show you. So you can see here, this linear bearing, a couple of M4 bolts, bolt straight onto the uh, casing and the linear bearings, so that's really nice so you don't have to mess around with um, zip ties and horrible kludges. And you, these are readily available on eBay and are fantastic. I, I would definitely recommend using these instead of a 3D printed enclosure and your standard linear bearings that you have to mess around with zip ties. These are brilliant and they're very cheap. And they work the job. Standard bearings. Now, all the parts I just ordered off eBay and there's nothing custom. I just grabbed what I could. So, um, that's why some things are a little bit not quite the right size. Um, so on the, the Z axis you've got one linear bearing and that's mainly because down here you've got the uh, stepper motor, the stepper motor each side and uh, um, you probably see it better around this side. So you have the linear bearing there but lower down and offset is the um, encapsulated bolt on the threaded bar and so with that, both those in tandem with their offsets it does mean I'll, it's, I'll get quite a good steady x-axis mount which means I don't need loads of uh, linear bearings uh, unlike my this printer here that has four on this end and one this end which seems a bit overkill uh, um, obviously standard two z-axis stepper motors your, your standard stepper motor sizes uh, the uh, uh, end stops here there's the z end stop the uh, x end stops on this stepper motor on bolted on the back of this stepper motor same with the uh, z axis um, now the extruder it's a direct drive now, unfortunately, in this 
screwed I only had one mounting point here and so what I've done is the holder is an interference fit for the stepper motor so that actually works really well I'm quite pleased how well that came out and it's all in one print one modification I had to do after printing was drill a little hole so I could zip tie the cabling the cabling ideally I was going to bring the cabling up to the top of the printer and over but it didn't quite work out the way I planned and it turns out this coming through here works much nicer for the ramp the way the ramp board's set up um, so that, that works quite well um, I don't get much movement actually I did fit wonder or think that after a bit that it would wobble around move around a lot but it seems to work really quite well you'll see from the um, files originally uploaded I've made a slight modification here I just did hit these holes here I was just testing to see what it comes out like it works quite nice reduces the amount of plastic you need so if you were printing you could actually modify these parts to include those holes I did have to put a cut out so that the uh, um, clips would pass through here and that one modification I would make if I was doing it again although this print head will travel the full 200 millimeters it is very close to touching it doesn't touch either end but it's very close so what I would probably do is actually this cut out here I would actually extend that all the way up to the top and that would give you a little bit more breathing room but part the other, and the, the other change I would make is um, I'll move this back where I these bolt on to the uh, Z axis mounts the, the other end of the nut is under the stepper motors which means I've got to pull the stepper motor out if I ever want to take these off which means I've got basically disassemble the entire printer just to get these off so I think a future design I, I would probably move these somewhere so they're more accessible I'm not maybe move them out a bit this way my plan was to have nothing apart from the x-axis part at uh, z uh, y-axis nothing coming out forwards but uh, um, but you know feel welcome to re-spin it your own way and uh that's one, one thing i did uh plan if you see the ramps is on its own base that's bolted to the base here of the z i uh, had planned to have one here as well for the filament but there's just not enough room with the uh clips on the board so the filament's just on the thing but that works quite nice that does uh, set over there it's on a, a wooden board it's not bolted onto the wooden board it's free mo moving on there but you really want to put it on a flat base because it is you know it is a little bit uh, uh, flexible <laughs> as we say but uh, um, but when it's in printing you don't see I think and a small change I would make is although I don't have a problem once it's set up it's all printing nicely this base is not ideally uh, not a fantastic um, strong you know there's a bit of play in there um, maybe that's okay I suppose that helps things if the printer did ever crash into it but I think I would space these out a bit more make that a little bit more rigid so the base is uh, um, fully 3d printed um, I've got some standoffs here because I was worried about heat coming off the hot plate and warping the plastic but I think in hindsight I probably didn't need to do that so I could probably bring that down maybe but it, but it works all right it does its job it allows me um, gives me four points of reference to adjust everything fit it up um, I could carry on working on this modifying it adding self-leveling but it's all working really nice everything's quite level um, once I've got it set up it all just sits and prints quite nicely on its own so um, I think I'll leave that now I've done quite a few different um, nice prints with it um, so oh now the power supply was a bit odd a lot of online stuff say that you have one wire to connect so the print the power supply stays on but this one had two other wires that needed to be connected together and it's obvious that these two wires were special because they came from different places on the circuit board of the power supply but I've not seen anyone document that so I don't know if that's unique to this printer or um, you know just something that hasn't been written about because everyone's done old power supplies and this is a new one but it's only like 10 quid off eBay and so um, let's see what, 
What's the uh, as well? I don't know, if you petrol out so you can see what that is. So it's quite a beefy one, it'll do the job. There we go. It's got us 12, and the most important was the uh, um, ampere at 24 volt. 24, this is well above, I think it's 16 you need for this. But so, uh, I've got plenty of headroom. So, there's my, and there's a walk around. I'll free you, can, I'll go for a little back picture here so you can see how it's all um, set up. So, You can see on the, uh, these are just a couple of bearings pulled through those posts. And that's it.